Today I'm going to do a tear down of this eBay water distiller and show you what's inside. I just did a review on this distiller and it ran really efficient. I was able to get almost 100% of the steel water out of this uh, machine. So I'm curious to see what's inside this machine and find out how it works. So let's get started. Let's take a look at the top cover. It's got three screws. So I guess I just have to remove these three screws to get the top plastic cover off. And the pot itself. All of the screws on the bottom. So we've got three screws here. This sticker has something underneath. So I think there are more screws underneath this sticker. Let's remove the top cover first. Got the top cover out, three screws. Right, so I got the bottom cover out. There's only a single nut right in the center. And how is it together? So you just peel this off. You don't have to remove the three screws because uh, the three rubber feet, they stand alone. Okay. Right, so here is the bottom of the main unit. Let me zoom in, take a closer look here. So we got a heating element right here and it's mounted on a metal plate and it's, this plate is welded onto the bottom of the pot. We got two heat sensor, one here, one over here, which is the also the power switch. You got a light bulb and that's it. It's very very simple so the power comes in here goes in on this side we got it go straight to the heat sensor and then out to this end of the healing element the other wire go out to the other heat sensor power switch down here and then it, that wire goes out back to the other side of the heating element. The third wire, which is the white wire, goes down and is mounted onto this metal plate, which is mounted onto the bottom of the pot, so it's properly grounded. This is important because if there's a short down here, if it's not grounded, up here if you just touch the water, or the part itself, you might get electrocuted. Over here we got a light bulb. It's not LED, just a light bulb mounted with a resistor in series. On this side we got the connector for the fan. So these two wire goes one side to the one end of the heating element, one side to the other end of the heating element. The two wires from the light bulb is the same. One side go to one side of the heating element. The other go to the other side. So they are connected in parallel. The fan, which is this, which you hook this wire up to here. The light bulb and the heating element, they are connected in parallel. So once this sensor turns off the heating element, it turns off everything including the fan and the light bulb on the front here. So everything here runs on AC, the fan, the light bulb, the heating element, everything runs on AC. The heating element, let me show you the, the label here, it says 120 volt 
750 watts so the way this works is extremely simple there's a heat sensor here so when the pot is boiling the water it stays at constant temperature until all the water is gone then the temperature will rise after the water is gone so only when the water is gone when the pot is dry there's no water in it then the temperature of this on the bottom will rise and the heat sensor will turn it off I really like the way they built this it's extremely simple and very easy to fix if you have a problem with it the only thing that can go wrong is the heat sensor and that's it so looks like it's also very easy to replace the heat sensor remove these two nuts on the sides here unplug these wires and you can replace heat sensors this is very very simple same thing for the power button heat sensor same thing it's very easy to replace let's take a look at the fan assembly on the top here so the vapor will rise and go into the coil right there and then it will go up the coil up this way now that is the very top of the coil this part here is still really really hot and there's no heat sink so they do this on a purpose they really want this part to be hot because you want this to be still vapor when it gets to the very top of the coil then when it starts to go down gravity will pull it down this way so this just works by gravity it will pull down here this is where the vapor start to condense and then gravity will take over and pull it down so this spiral downward down and down continue to go down all the way until it gets to here and then the, the coil goes straight down and down the spout so this cooling system is also very simple it runs by gravity there's no pump or any electronics at all besides the fan and let's take a look at the fan here it is 100 to 120 volts 50 hertz AC fan it looks pretty similar to the fan in the microwave so there you have it what's inside a one gallon water distiller this thing is built so simple it's built like a tank the only thing that can go wrong is the temperature sensor in here which is very easy to replace or what, the fan not sure if this would ever break but if it does you can easily swap out a fan from a microwave it looks exactly the same as a fan from a microwave or you can use any AC fan I guess and that's it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time